Well, we talked about the different ways to um, work on upgrading a device from one version to another. Uh, in this case, we're going from Android Marshmallow to Android Nugget, uh, and we're doing this on the Blue Life 1X2, or the Blocks 2. So, how do we go about doing that? Well, there's different ways I've talked about before. We can just try to build it as it is and see what happens, uh, and then work through the errors as they come up. We can um, compare the changes that were made to another device, like in this case we know the garlic uh, was updated and that those changes um, helped uh, you know the garlic to work so we could do similar changes to our uh, blocks too and see if that causes it to work. Um, or the third method is essentially doing the same thing as the uh, building device from scratch where we actually take the similar device and build that more or less from uh, scratch. So we're kind of going to do a little combination of both. Essentially we know that the changes that happened to the garlic allowed it to work in Nugget and we want to do the same changes to our blocks too. We stole about 90 percent of our material from the garlic so they're very similar devices. Um, we stole probably the last 10 percent from uh, the uh, I think it's the Redmi 3 uh, from Xiaomi and so things like that so we actually uh, we actually have a lot of uh, material here from the garlic that we can use and so what I want to do is I want to grab this garlic material put it into the Blue Life 1X2 and see if we can just work from that essentially kind of a mix from building from scratch slash doing the same changes that were done in the garlic so one of the ways that we can do that very simply is uh, as you go through the files, you can either do this one at a time or copy paste or whatever the case may be, um, but for these important files that kind of dictate what we're going to be building, what I like to do is just kind of start at the top and we're going to say open with diffuse. And then uh, so on the right hand side we're going to keep the uh, Blue Life 1X and on the left hand side we're going to open the garlic device and compare and see what has changed and what we need to add to our device and we can do this for uh, pretty much any of the files in here um, you could just go straight down the line another way to do it would be to look at the um, them in order that they get built uh, if you need some help with build orders I would recommend you go back to um, the uh, basic videos that I have and look at you know during the build and what is happening during the build process so you get an idea for the order. Um, this being a little more advanced I'm not going to take too much time to go over that just that we're going to look at hey what changed what can we add to ours and we see um, essentially uh, some build fingerprint information uh, has changed obviously uh, you know the build fingerprint stuff is not going to be the same between the two um, looks like they're still using this Android Micromax and we had disabled it before um, because we decided we didn't need it. Uh, what I want to do is try to be as close to the garlic as possible and then uh, and then see what we do or don't need. Um, so we'll go ahead and move that over. We're going to save that. We're going to save that, not open. Save. And then we're going to go to the next file. So the next file is going to be the full Life 1X2. And we're going to go to the next file of the full garlic. And this works very well here because we pretty much copied from the garlic to get started anyways. Um, we notice that it's pointing to the uh, garlic device make file. We're pointing to the blocks2 make file. That's fine. All of these are fine. These are the same as they were we're going to the device make file now and we're going to start working on some of this so let's see we've got um, this is just a space so it really actually doesn't matter but we can move it over just to make it the same uh, for simplicity vendor you garlic garlic vendor vendor blue blocks to blocks to vendor you know that's good um, the fingerprint we had ended up uh, disabling in our build 
um, because we were having a little bit of trouble with it. We're going to re-enable it again and see what happens there. Ant, I didn't think we had that anyways, and it's good that they took it out uh, here. So we'll go ahead and follow suit. Uh, a lot of configuration files about the framework AV services. So these are some Android framework type things. One of them is a local audio path, so we'll have to check that. Let's see, we have a lot of can, uh, configs for the camera. Uh, we couldn't get the camera to work right in Marshmallow in our Marshmallow build. Uh, maybe we'll have a little bit of better luck with the um, Nugget build. Uh, the EP tables actually turned out to be fine. So we can take that. Uh, fingerprint, we just enabled it up there, so we'll go ahead and enable it here. Uh, let's see, the radio packages and config files, so we'll go ahead and make those the same. Now it's not that you necessarily want to copy everything to be the same. Some of these things may not work. We may end up taking some of these out uh, in the future. Um, IPA CM configs, okay, we'll have to check on that. I think that's going to come out of here, but we'll, we'll check on that. Uh, we know that the key layout files, we won't need their key layout files. We need our key layout files, so we'll definitely leave that. Um, the errors that we had from the different uh, fonts, I don't think we'll need those, so we'll just comment those out for now. If we do end up needing them, then we can put those in there. Um, OMX. We're going to go ahead and make ours the same as theirs. Um, let's see, now they've taken out QCOM Power RC and put in this post boot shell, so we'll want to check that out. Most likely that's going to set up what it needs to set up to make the Android boot. Uh, Vulkan files, we didn't have that in Marshmallow obviously, so we'll need the Vulkan files now. And a lot of changes to the Wi-Fi, and these both use the exact same Wi-Fi, so I feel pretty confident that we can copy these Wi-Fi, uh, this Wi-Fi material. So uh, we didn't keep every change exactly, but we did take most of them, and we're probably going to end up cutting some of these out eventually. Uh, as time goes on. So I'm just going to go through and uh, you know do s pretty much similar to what I just did with the remainder of these files and see what it is that we can find that we need to change. Uh, and that's really all that you're going to be doing is you're going to go through these files and uh, you know edit them. Uh, you know this method we're trying to essentially make the same changes that the garlic made by keeping the material um, I mean, we're literally going to drag and drop like this audio Bluetooth camera and configs, etc., into uh, this Life One X2, and see uh, what we uh, what we get when we build it and work from there. So we've cut down quite a few of these files uh, in our blocks too, so we're ready to copy over some things. What we didn't change was the init because we're going to need to edit those by hand. We didn't drop the recovery because we need this Torp FS tab. Um, and actually, you know what? We probably should keep the root dir because that's going to have our FS tab QCOM. So we'll make sure to uh, move those by hand as well. So let's see, what can we grab from the garlic right off the bat? Uh, we're just going to copy these, this first line here. Configs, and then copy all of these in here. Notice there's no conflict. I'm not copying the ones that we already have in the other one. Uh, overlay, Wi-Fi. So we'll copy those, move those over, and then we're going to have to take a look at a few things. So key layout and key layout, we don't need 
anything from garlic's key layout. Uh, what we do need though is from init. Let's take a look at this init and let's uh, compare these two. We're going to go to init and we're going to go to init. Take a look and they are identical so that's good. Check out the Android file. The only thing that's different is the garlic slash life one x2. So we'll have to make sure that in the init it's building the in lib init for life one x2 and life one x2 in our target board platform. But that's good. So init is fine. Um, then we have recovery, which has our FS tab, and we go in here. These obviously are not going to be the same, but what we want to do is take a look at them to see if there's any uh, changes in there. As far as the way that it is set up or looks, and guess what? They are identical. So that's great. So let's see, then we go. Um, Rootdir for both of these. And what we see here, or what we really want to check, is this FS tab. Rootdir, FS tab, open, Rootdir, FS tab. And they're identical. So we can actually just copy them uh, straight over. Uh, we shouldn't have a problem here. So garlic, and we'll go to Life One X, and we'll delete its root deer. And we'll grab the root deer from the garlic, and put that in here. We don't need to see hidden files right now. So. Um, big difference is we do have the fonts folder which was from our font problem that we had in Marshmallow. We'll see if we still need that or not as we go through and we'll have to make sure that we've edited our files for that just like we were going through and making our changes. And so let's continue with that process. Just start here with the make file. Now let's see, we want to build, now they dropped doing the TFTP and they're building all of these for the camera and so, and some Wi-Fi sim links to probably make the Wi-Fi work. So we want to add those for sure, otherwise our Wi-Fi will not work. So let's copy that over, we're going to save it. We're going to open our board config and open our board config. Notice there are extra files there, so we'll have to check that out. Device U garlic, device blue life 1x2, that's fine. Target OTA assert device life 1x2, life 1x2, that's fine. Uh, so some changes in the kernel command line, right? We had this old one here. Um, what we want to check is this right here. We have console TTY HSLO N8 HSLO Android boot hardware QCOM MSM RTB filter 237 Park 3 disabled one boot device 900 uh, 7800 and Ours just has SE Linux permissive in with that one. So this is actually identical. Um, our, our old one was commented out up here. So we can just copy that straight over so that way it looks the same. It'll help when we're going through the file, making sure that things are staying the same. Uh, here they put this all into one line, kernel offset, RAM offset, everything. We just put it into separate lines. Um, ours is set up for our device, so we're going to leave that. Uh, append DTB, they have for true, 
which we're going to want to make sure we have in ours. And so we'll copy this. And we'll paste it there. Okay, ant. It's funny as we got rid of ant, so we probably don't need that. But they left it in, so we'll leave it in. Uh, lots of features enabled. So we probably want to enable those same f features just like they did because we have the same audio. Uh, once again, if you're curious about some of the changes that I'm making here, remember that a lot of research went into checking which devices were very similar, and we found the garlic to be very similar. And if you have questions about how to check how to do that research, please take a look at my video series on building device from scratch where we cover that in very, very much detail. Uh, hopefully that'll be useful to you. So some camera stuff, we'll go ahead and uh, add that as well. We're going to try to get the camera working in this this time around. Uh, board charger enable suspend. Ours was true. They switched theirs to false. So we're going to uh, follow suit because there must be a good reason for that. Um, these to-dos we don't need anymore. Uh, notice for this they dropped the LD preload, so let's do the same. Um, fingerprint, they're going to use it, so let's try it in ours as well. We don't need these to-dos. Um, radio stuff, I don't know that we really have radio in ours, but we'll... we'll we will check that. Now this part is specifically different on purpose because that's our uh, lib init life 1x2 that we were just looking at in the init folder. So we want to leave that different. Uh, malloc is gone here so let's take this out. Uh, partition sizes, we don't want to change our, parti our partition sizes to match theirs because we have different ones. We also want to use media extensions. And we'll just get rid of some of these to-dos. And let's see. Uh, wireless LAN SDK true. Not sure what that is exactly, but we'll go ahead and add that in and see what we get. They took out this WCNS QMI, so let's take ours out as well. They must not need it. And we're going to call for the board config vendor from Life1x2. So, uh, looks like we're all ready here for uh, checking the build.